Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you something incredibly bizarre that happened during the search for little three-year-old Braylon Noble who is missing from Toledo, Ohio. If you are not aware of Braylon's case, he was reported missing on the afternoon of September 4th of 2020 by his mother, who believes he may have fallen out of a third-story window or off the third-floor balcony of their apartment complex and has disappeared. Well, if you haven't followed this already strange story, I'm about to blow your mind, so strap in. Ready? WTOL 11 News is reporting today, September 7th, that Toledo police found a three-year-old boy wandering out alone overnight last night in the area of Bancroft Street and Ashland Avenue, but he's not Braylon. I know, I know, I'll say it for you. What the hell is going on in Toledo, Ohio? The police say that the three-year-old they found is named Jeremiah. They said he appears healthy and is now safe, but they are trying to locate his parents. And Braylon is still missing. I don't even know what to say right now, other than I am so tempted to jump in my car and drive to Toledo to find out what the hell is happening. If you even think of asking me questions about this video in the comments, don't bother. I have no answers for you. I am so confused right now. All I'm able to conclude at this point is that we have somehow either become trapped in a Stephen King novel where three-year-olds are emancipating themselves and plan to take over the world, or we're definitely descended into the ninth circle of hell. I don't know which. If we are trapped in a Stephen King novel, I am your best friend. I've read them all, I know the characters, and I understand how he thinks. So I'm probably your best chance for survival. If we finally entered the ninth circle of hell, I don't know what to tell you. You're on your own. I have not seen any reports that Jeremiah has been reported missing at all. I wonder if anyone even noticed he's gone. I'm so glad he was found safe, but I don't need to tell you this isn't good. The search for Braylon is continuing today, and police say they are not giving up. One of the volunteers organizing the searches for Braylon says they are expanding the search to a three-mile radius today, Labor Day. The news said that anyone 18 years or older wishing to join the search for Braylon can go to the Hunter's Ridge apartment complex where a command post has been set up for volunteers. Volunteers are being asked to bring masks, gloves, and walking sticks if possible to help you look through the woods near the apartment complex. They say several people are still needed to help canvas the area. If you aren't able to join in the search but still want to help, you can bring water and snacks to the volunteer command post. Volunteers are reminded not to touch anything they find. According to news reports, Braylon's mom has been out with the search parties, and she's been helping since day one. Police say they questioned her, but she was not taken into custody. I guess she clarified that she doesn't know for sure if Braylon fell out of a window or off the balcony or whatever the story is today. But she said the window screen was pushed out, so she can't think of any other possibility. She claims that she and Braylon's grandmother were in the apartment at the time, so she doesn't think he could sneak past both of them to get out. The FBI Cleveland Division announced an award of up to $5,000 for information leading to the successful recovery of Braylon. Anyone with information is asked to call 419-255-1111. Here we are, Braylon missing under suspicious circumstances, and Jeremiah found under suspicious circumstances. For the first time on my channel, I'm actually at a loss for words. So, I'm going to end this video here. If I hear any more about these two cases, I will post updates. If this gets any weirder, I'm going to Toledo. I have to. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on my next video.